Gerald, let's um, let's bring it back to back to the economy. Um, obviously, you've painted a very um, somber landscape and picture here. And offline, we were talking, and you were saying, you know, you're just not not in a good place. If you don't mind me sharing, you're obviously upset no, really. with the terrible. state. And um, I, you know, I'm just curious to know what what you're doing. And I, I always like asking you this question, so I think it's so important. Uh, how you're protecting your, your, yourself uh, in the current environment. Well, you know, as I say, GC's, 3G's, guns, gold, and a getaway plan. But this time there'll be no getaway plan because, again, I'm not the only one saying... You, you look at the magazine cover, the Trends Journal, two days before Russia invaded Ukraine. COVID war, Ukraine war, world war. When all else fails, they take you to war. This economy's failed. It's a joke. Oh, $60 billion to Ukraine about now? Oh, since, the, since February 24th? And the roads are rotting, homeless all over the streets, people can't make ends meet. You see the data that comes out. So, so you know, for me, the gold prices should be $2,500 an ounce. I'm not making this up when I say it's a crime syndicate. Hey, I'm Jamie Dimon. What did I make? $35 million last year? Oh, what happened? Wasn't J.P. Morgan convicted? Convicted of five felonies? Hey, how come he's not in jail? Oh, and one of them? Rigging the precious metals market? Oh, shut up, Salenti. Don't be angry. Oh, and don't forget, roll out the red carpet every time the president or anybody else walks down it. Let me ask you this, okay? You mentioned the gold manipulation, obviously uh, making headlines this summer. It's not the first time we've seen this story, right? Now, here's, my, here's the riddle for you, okay, Gerald? If uh, the spoofers have been caught, right? Whoever was rigging the gold market at J.P. Morgan's headed to jail, they've been fined. Uh, we have inflation over 9%. Why isn't gold much higher I, I, again, it's rigged. It, it, the proof is there. They don't, because they don't want, the two things they don't want to happen, they don't want the equity markets to crash, and they don't want gold prices to skyrocket to where they should go, because then the little people will know how bad it is. They don't know how bad it is until the markets crash. Gold prices should have been skyrocketing for the last three years. Why would they care? Why would they want to shield that reality from the little people of knowing how bad it is? They've done it in the past, in the 90s. Well, again, not like now, because the crisis that we're facing now is unprecedented. Unprecedented. The countless trillions of dollars that they've pumped into the economies around the world around the world. You're going to see, it's the new world disorder. You're looking at the emerging markets. Why is the dollar strong? The dollar's strong because all the other ones are so weak. Again, listen to the crap that's spewed out of the mouths of the central bankers. Oh, oh, and now the European Union aggressively raised interest rates from minus 0.50 basis points to zero interest rates. What are you kidding me? What do they got? An 8.6% inflation rate? Oh, oh, and the IMF I mentioned before? If you borrow money from the IMF, you, they, they tell you to raise your interest rates 1% above inflation, which means that our interest rates should be, what, 10.1%? Europe should be 9.6%. Oh, look at the data coming out of Germany. Oh, the biggest, richest country down. Everything down, everything down. And by the way, you know, people complain, you know, the communism. Yeah, it's, it, it's dictatorial. As you know, there was a guy by the name of Mussolini. Listen to his quote. What's fascism? The merger of state and corporate powers. Got it? Oh, we're gonna buy corporate bonds, junk bonds. Oh, you're just a piece of garbage. You can go to, we don't care what happens to you. Hey, you're too big to fail. It's fascism by the definition of Mussolini. Not mine, 
his. They're in total control. They're in total control. Oh, oh, oh! A, a story just came out this this, this last uh, Monday in um, the Wall Street Journal about a gambling deal done in North Carolina, South Carolina, mm-hmm. and how everybody's involved in the politicians, <laughs> daughters, sons, husbands, whatever, you know, behind the scenes of making money on the deal. Again, it's it's a crime syndicate that people call a government. Gerald, I feel your pain. I feel your pain. And I hope, you know, I'd like to see you smile again soon. Well, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm you know, I'm a, my, I'm, I'm been, I've been forecasting trends now 42 years. <laughs> I'm selling books, uh, you know, well, magazines since 1991. You know, my business is to look ahead and I see the future. And it's hell on earth. Uh, I mean, well, you know, we're not talking, you know, World War II is an ancient history. I own three of the most historic buildings in America because I bought them when I came back from Berlin. And I said, how could that? Berlin was granted in Paris before it was bombed out. Why didn't the people stop it? Oh, isn't Dresden a lovely place? And now they're ramping up this war. World War III has begun. It's not a proxy war. We're at war. America's sending, and, and NATO's sending these billions and billions of dollars of weapons to keep bloodying the killing field, not a peep about peace. And, and so what I'm saying is they're going to say World War III began when there's going to be a nuclear something or a false flag event, just like the crap they teach us when we're kids. World War I began when they assassinated the Archduke Ferdinand in Sarajevo. What's an Archduke? What's a Sarajevo? You mean nothing was going on before that? Oh, no, no, no. Oh, and World War II began when the Japanese bombed Pearl Harbor. All right? So we, it's begun. You hear the hatred being spewed out every day. When I was a kid, they had us hiding under a desk in case an atom bomb went off, dropped by the Russians. It's the military-industrial complex that Eisenhower warned us about. Well, I, you know, just on that note, I read um, um, a report uh, from the Washington Post saying that the nuclear threat is higher now than in the Cold War. This is from uh, British officials warning about this, um, that basically a breakdown in dialogue among rival powers is raising the risk of nuclear war with uh, fewer safeguards now than during the Cold War, to your point, Gerald. And, and, and to illustrate the idiocy... You mentioned Pelosi might go to Taiwan. They're doing air raid drills in Taiwan with people kneeling down and putting their head, their hands over their head. You can see the pictures. And three weeks ago, they ran a duck and cover drill in New York City where this woman comes out and said, okay, a nuclear explosion has happened. Now don't get excited, I'm gonna tell you what to do. Here are the three steps. I'm not making this up. We've been trying to get, we, we've been going after the, the, or the, the emergency management group over there that put this together. We, we've, we put in the complaints. They refuse to tell us how much this commercial cost. They refuse to tell us we want the scientific data of the three steps. They won't give us anything. They're making this crap up. But they're scaring it's your, the hell out yeah. of people. No, you know, I, I love having a good time, you know. I, I, I want to boogie before the lights go out. You know, I like to have fun. And they've sucked the joy out of life. This, this town where I am is dead. It's dead at night. It was the liveliest place. People from New York City flooded up here. One place after another going out of business. The business is dead. And it's all, and now with inflation hitting. Why, you got to fill up my car, $88? I mean, I could afford it, but how about these people that can't? Yeah. No, what they've done to this country, this is terrible. And if we don't have a new movement, we're going to go down hard yeah. and fast. Well, you know, you mentioned the gas prices, and I was having this exact conversation with my husband, like, you know, $8,800 $8, to fill up whatever car. You know, how are people going to be able to go to their jobs? Doesn't make sense. It costs more to go to work, Gerald. I know. And that's why you're going to see the office occupancy rate continue to go down, this is going to be the biggest real estate crisis ever, 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 ever 
documented in modern history. And again, it's the new world. Part of it makes a lot of sense. I mean, here we are, you know, we're, we're Zoomed together. You know, I'm not in, you, back in the day, you know, I'd go down, you know. You be, came to be, Wall Street. Right. You know, so it's a different world now. So the, the, the implications of this are going to be far reaching. But again, when all else fails, they take you to war.